this is going to be my Equinox max range build obviously using overextended now in order to understand Equinox and pretty much how she works I'm going to be talking about her abilities now obviously Metamorphous Equinox has two abilities day and night in the day form you get a bonus of damage and speed whereas in the night form you get bonus shields and armor now obviously you got your armor damage multiplier duration shield capacity and speed increase her next ability is rest and rage everything you can see on the right hand side speed increase range duration vulnerability radius wake up health threshold in the night form she could put targets to sleep while in the day form targets become more vulnerable to damage that's where the rage comes in now her third ability is pacify and provoke obviously night form you reduce damage inflicted by nearby enemies that was that is within the radius of your pacify provoke you increase the power strength of nearby allies they'll have a percentage of power strength on the left hand side of their name now her last ability mend and maim in the knife form she heals allies within the nearby radius of the range like let's say you cast your men and with if they're within range of you they will be healed in the day form the enemies are bled they get hit with slash and they're subjected to a wave of slashing force you could pretty much store up power it will be on your right hand side of where your name is and you can store up to thousands hundreds of thousands of slashing force or in the millions depending on how long you could keep storing energy pretty much not storing energy storing slashing force but you have to keep killing enemies within the radius of your main now instead of me going on about that let me go to the upgrades and show you how I build my Equinox now as you can see this is a three formal build I have two D's and two um, dashes now I have my vitality on which is for health redirection which is for shield I put on a max out prime flow because I want to have as much energy as I can while I'm holding in my main also I have overextended to get that range out now the range like I said is when you're using you know your abilities as far as with mend or maim pacify or provoke you want to get that max range as possible that's why I have overextended and stretch now obviously you're gonna need efficiency because you want to keep that ma uh, maim going because it drains over time but when you have max efficiency it doesn't drain as much I have fleeing expertise and I obviously have streamline. Duration is pretty much not an issue. The only thing you gotta worry about as far as duration is when you're in the night form, you put enemies to sleep, or if you're casting in between day and night forms. That's where prime continuity comes in. 105 duration, more than enough. And obviously, we have our last slot here. I pretty much opened this up. You can pretty much put whatever you want in there. I just put sure footed on because you know how those enemies like to try and knock you down. This gives a 60% chance to resist that so I could keep my footing on pretty much like feet of stone. Like just keep planted there. Like I say, you could just play around with this. You could even put handspring on. So in case you get knocked down, you could recover 10 times faster. Obviously, it's like 160. Yeah, it's like 160% faster knockdown recovery. You could put ice spring on, you know, pretty much anything to your delight. You know, piercing step, whatever it is. But for me, I just like to have sure footed on just because I just want to resist being knocked down. So this is pretty much my build as far as with equinox so i hope you enjoyed this video guys